So today let's do weekly update analysis. I will do the pairs that I think they have opportunity this coming week. So we'll start with GBPUSD because this is a follow-up. If you noticed, uh, we have been waiting for GBPUSD to buy the, uh, the last three weeks. So this is a follow-up on GBPUSD. So I will go to weekly time frame and um, let's try to see what is happening. So we go to weekly time frame. So on the weekly time frame, there's this double top. This double top, guys, it's not available on the monthly. And that's what makes this double top special. Why? Because if I come here and I mark it, we want to check if this double top is available on the monthly. So if you didn't know, GBPUSD on the weekly, we have a double top. So it's not available on the monthly. You can see there's nothing on the monthly. But you see, on the monthly time frame, we had a break of structure. The resistance broke. So we had buyers on the monthly are very strong. Why? Market broke resistance for two good months. And then this market is just, uh, me, for me, I can call it a retracement. But on the weekly time frame, it's not a retracement. It is going down because of that double top. So there is a place where one time frame has broken structure and it has declared the market is on an uptrend. And then the other time frame, time frame, the market has found an obstacle, which now is the double top and it is going down. So let's see how far is this double top, uh, how, how well would this double top would drop down. So there's, there's a higher chance that the double top can reach the half because for me, how I trade double top, I trade it in steps. So I trade it in levels. So the first level is trade it up to the half. The second level, trade it to the neckline. And then later, if the neckline is broken, you are uh, looking forward to trade the complete double top. So as we speak, you need to understand that we are trading, we have a double top that is only on the weekly time frame, And the pips to half, the pips to half are 400 pips. So 400 pips are what the market can go down. So what the market what the market uh, do, they give you this pattern, a very clear pattern. This one will call we'll call it uh, pattern A or pattern one. So this is our P1. So they will give you a P1, but because everyone knows this double top and that's why people are, keep saying it can sell. Yeah, I agree with you, it can sell if they use P1. For me, I understand that the market has have three patterns for it, the third pattern is what they use. So yes, P1 can be used to drop this market down up to the half. And then if half is broken, the market can continue. So according to many people, this is what they are saying. But because now I have knowledge of the patterns, for me, I have to look for pattern two, which many people don't pay attention. And mostly pattern two can be used either to take the market up or can, can be used as an obstacle, can be used as a distraction. So once you get the pattern two, you need to know what is happening. So according to weekly, before even we go to pattern two, according to weekly, they have done something that I will teach you here about ranging of one candle. So there is market range and there's the ranging of one candle. Ranging of one candle is simple. If you find a market ranging like this, nobody, like I cannot tell you for sure, for sure that the market is a buy or sell, but what I can tell you, the direction this range will break to, that's where the market will go. So if the buyers break this resistance, trust me, that market is going up. If the sellers break a support area, where is it? If the sellers break the support area, trust me, the market is going to hit that half. So once we have now ranging of one candle, and I think that's what I'll do in lesson 37, Ranging of one candle is very, very, very strong and it is used so many times. The market will range with one candle and where, wherever direction the market will break to, that's where it will go. So once I am noticing, even you can see the previous candle is just a, a rejection candle, the buyers have no much strength. So it's ranging. So nobody can say for sure how this market will go, but we can see by breaking of structure. So. If someone comes to trade, they will only know if the market has broke structure. So the same way 
we are seeing a double top only on weekly, almost going to half. On the weekly time frame, there's nothing that is stopping this market. So if someone is so glued with this double top, they'll be thinking they will be biased because they want the market to break at support and hit their half. So someone who is trading GBPUSD using weekly time frame, first of all, they are biased. Why? Because they can't see anything that is making this market to go down. But once you flip this time frame, once you go to daily time frame, once you go to daily time frame, this is what happens. If you try to go to daily time frame, why is the market, why has the market stopped? You can see the market stopped because of a support area. So we have this support. So there's a support that is making this market do what? To, to stop. So this support most definitely and um uh, be assured that is not on the weekly. So that's our pattern too, which is very, very strong. Mostly banks love pattern too because you cannot, it is unexpected, like it's unpredictable. You can't predict pattern two. They love it because you, you're just seeing pattern two there. They just love pattern two. So, so they have here pattern two. So this is our pattern two and it's a double top. So here we have P2. So that's our pattern too. And someone can ask me, what criteria does it require for pattern to be one, two, or three? The only criteria is that pattern not to be available on other pattern. So if you open your monthly time frame, you can't know if that, if you have a double bottom, of course, that's a pattern one. Now you need to look for pattern two and then you work on pattern three. So this pattern two, if we flip on weekly, is there a double bottom? There is nothing. So pattern two is very, very strong also. So you cannot assume pattern two. Also, you like you cannot assume pattern two. There's no way you can assume pattern two. So what happens is that this is pattern two now. This is pattern two. And the pattern two, um, the neckline is around here. That's the neckline. And then this is our half. This is our half. So we have pattern one, we have pattern two. So let's try and see uh, about pattern two. So you can see for me how, how I, I believe that the market has a very clear setup to go up. But you need to understand this is our pattern two and the bank can use it for advantage because we have known it, they can use it at our advantage or they can manipulate this market. So again, like we are saying, for pattern two to complete, they have to come out of this area and go. And now this time they are going directly to that half. So you can see a double bottom that is only on one time frame. And you see the reason why, you see, I, I want to show you how patterns keep uh, printing themselves. I want to show you something. Once this double bottom has broken a, a certain resistance, we had a two green candles. So we had first green and then the second green. So you can see a resistance breaking with two green candles, something is happening. Like we saw on the monthly, the resistance here broke with two green candles, two green on monthly. And what happened on the weekly after green candle, they activated a double top, you see? And then on daily, we you notice a resistance breaking with two green candles and you're thinking, oh, the market is going to buy. You need to be very careful because when a resistance break with two green candles, it means it can go to activate a new pattern. And that is pattern four, pattern three now. So if you can see the two green candles here, let me remove this box. The two green candles here, this is what has been activated. A double what? A double top. And this becomes our pattern three. Most probably pattern three and pattern one, they speak the same language. Pattern three and pattern one always speak the same language. And that's why you saw if you used B, uh, CSB, your entry level could be here. This would be our entry level. So that is here, CSB, CSB. And that's why I said, yes, we have a double bottom on the weekly, but we cannot assume double top on four hour. 
So CSB, and then you count, you measure, you measure half. So that's our half. So the market dropped very well. Like there was no struggle. You can see when CSB happened, the market went direct to half and then broke half. And now it is almost touching the neckline. Now that's why I'm saying where the market is, we don't know if it wants to complete P3, pattern three, or it has uh, activated a new pattern, pattern four. So in this case, we have four patterns we are dealing with. So I just want to show you how the banks are, the banks, the, you know, they leave the decision for us. If at all we sell, they will buy. If we buy, they sell. So you need to pay attention not to be so quick because they wait on you to do the, 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 the decision. So we have P4 now. The reason for me, I'm thinking the reason why um, they didn't use P3 to go to the neckline, many people started to sell. Like I think it was easier and people realized earlier and they, they started to sell and they don't want to make this pattern so easy. So we have P4. So you need to understand what I'm trying to tell you is that they can use P3 pattern three that will go with pattern one on the weekly, both they are double tops. Pattern one on the weekly is a double top. Let me show you. That's why nobody, if someone is telling you, oh, this market will sell, oh, this market will buy, they must give you a reason. So can you see our pattern one? Pattern one is a double top on the weekly and that double top has never reached half. And then pattern, pattern three, on four hour is still a double top. So what is happening? They are using pattern. They are using P1 is the same as P3 to give us a sale, you see? So they already know if at all we make this pattern goes, it will correspond with, uh, with our agenda. The agenda of the market makers is for us to notice that uh, the market is a buy and then they sell it. So that's what I'm saying. Pattern one and pattern three, they are speaking the same thing. And then pattern three, pattern two, which is a daily time frame. These are double bottom pattern two, a double bottom on daily time frame that is nowhere. And then four hour, a double bottom on four hour. So these are two patterns that are on daily. So on four hour, we have a P4, and on daily, we have a P2, you see? So, and you see the, the pattern here already uh, activated there. It's just that it has come back. So we have this double bottom, and we have a double bottom on daily. So both time frames, we have double bottom on daily and a double bottom on four hour. And then when you calculate the half, Let's see the half. Can you see half is exactly at where that resistance is? So I will even adjust. That is our half on that. So basically what we want, let me remove this. I want you to see, to notice, we have a double top here. So when you think the market will sell, ask yourself, why? If you think the market will buy, ask yourself, why? Because this market at where it is, it can do either. So GBPUSD this week, the coming week, the market can buy. If they come and, and you see this double bottom, this possible double bottom has RBS. And you see when the market has RBS for us, we know it is gonna buy if half is broken. So for me, what I can tell you is that if that half is broken, for, for me, I'm not looking for buys here. I'll be looking for buys around this area. If this market breaks there and then comes and break out there. And you see here they can break with four hour, but this area, we don't want them to break with four hour. We want them to break with daily. Can you see? We want them to break this resistance with daily. Trust me, the market is going up. The market is will be going up. So, but if at all, the, this zone will be broken. Do you know what will be created? An inverted cup and handle. 
inverted cup and handle. So we cannot be ignorant to think so they can create pattern five, which is inverted cup and handle because we say inverted cup and handle is a double bottom that re is rejected at half. So the market can even proceed and you see it's almost hitting. So there are so many chances of the GBPUSD next week buying if half is broken or selling. So for us, we'll just um, wait on it. More so if they break around this area, we know this market is going to buy. So those are some of the things we want to check. And um, we want to check, this is the zone, guys, I want you to check mostly. I want to check on this resistance. It's very, very powerful. There's a resistance here. This resistance is very powerful. Also check on this zone. The market need to break 1.2336. For us to now know that this is a, a, a buy, the market has to break there. So if this market break, this area, if they break this area, they will be going here. So if they come back here, you need to cancel all your trades if they will be in profits and then you wait. Because what they can do, they can create a new double top and it can make the market go down. So in that, uh, that being said, what I'm trying to tell you is that when you're trading GBPUSD, you have to figure out that everyone wants this market either to buy or to sell. When you're looking, when you're finding a reason to buy, if you're holding a buy, all I can tell you is that just know the market has higher chances of selling. If you're holding a sale, just know the market has higher chances of buying. For me, I'm not trading GBPUSD for those reasons. When I came to realize P3 is a sale, then we have P4. So I was confused. Which pattern will these people use? So at the end of the day, they first need to come out of this ranging. In fact, this is a ranging market. So they need first to come out of this ranging. And you see, once they break out of this ranging, if they break out of this ranging, trust me, they will come to this zone. Once they break out of that zone, and this is like a ranging market because it has really stayed, they will go that distance. So at the end of the day, you need to ask yourself, if I'm buying, what is making me to buy? Am I sure that this buy is going up? So if they break out of that ranging, trust me, they are coming, you see, our half is already, already touched 1.25. So I'm, I'm waiting and eager to see how GBP USD will, will perform. Anytime you want, if you decide to buy or to sell, always use proper risk management, use proper risk management. Um, uh, I remember when I was telling my students, it's not more of what you're making in the market, it's how much truth you're gaining in the Forex market. For me, what I can tell you is that I have laid a foundation for everyone who, 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 who wants this information for free. These videos, I create them for free. Why? Because I understand that many people who want mentorship, they may not afford $400. You need to understand that once you, once you decide to do Forex, you have two, two options. You can either look for a mentor and pay him or her, or you can use the available free materials on YouTube. So if you are in the category of paying the mentor, go ahead. If you have the money, go ahead, buy the course for those who are online. And if you are, if you are in Kenya and you want to come for physical classes or if you're in another country and you would want to join us on November classes, you're most welcome. So the, the only thing I can tell you is that regardless of what options you will take, there's your part to play. Like here, even if I want to tell you it's a buy, from this, from the structure alone, this market can sell. From the structure alone, it can buy. So there's a place where even us as who analyze the technical and, uh, and the technical analysis cannot help us. Why? Because if the technical analysis favors buyers, it will buy. If it favors sellers, it will sell. So bottom line, what am I trying to say? I'm I'm saying you need to realize that once I upload a video, is a chance for you to learn a new thing. Do not take it for granted. Make sure you watch this video, you comment down below. Uh, in another two, three years, we'll be speaking a different language. And I know majority of you here who are watching me today, in some years to come, you'll be very far, you'll be great traders, you'll have made money, done a lot. So do not despise a humble beginning. Yes, you're learning with free content, but that free content will make you be a great person in the future. So what I'm trying to say is that if you are trying to analyze or if you are trying to trade GBPSD next week, be very, very cautious. If you enter a trade 
when all the things that I've said have not been done, use the micro lot size because you don't want to enter uh, in a risky way and then the market goes against you. For me, I understand that weekly having a double top only on one time frame, daily having a double bottom on one time frame, and four hour having double tops and double bottoms, the market get confused. So I have no clarity. Like the edge that I use in the market, it's not there anymore. Why? Because all the time frames has what I look. And this is where I say you need to be very, very patient for the market to direct and to direct you. So thank you so much. I'll be doing, I think uh, I will do weekly analysis on all the pairs that I think they have opportunity and all the best. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment. I love you guys. Bye-bye.